Can I call you Joyce? Of course you can. All right. All right. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Hey, this is Joyce Chow, and we happen to be at the Orange County Auto Show, and we're here with Ace from Ford. What's up? Yes. I know. Look at that. Okay. Air five. Air five. Boom. Shaka naka. Well, that was good, Miss Joyce. Okay, hey. And you know, part of it is you're not just a pretty face. I just didn't know a lot about the new Ford vehicles. I do know a lot about Ford vehicles, Miss Joyce. Now, there's a few that I'm particularly interested in. Oh, yeah? One happens to be the Ford Mustang Boss. Oh, yeah, the Boss. Watch out. Yeah. Miss Joyce, I got to tell you, there's some pretty special stuff going on. Do you know how much horsepower that new Boss 302 is going to have? 302? Actually, 444 horsepower. That's right. We are very excited about that. And hey, for any of our Boss fans out there, you know, 1969, that's when the legendary Boss was released, and we brought it back for 2012. We're very excited about that. Yes. That's right. So what have you done special in the box? I'm sorry? What have you done special in the box? Oh, there's all kinds. 444 horsepower. 444, I know, right? That's kind of special within itself. Well, we've got all kinds of new special handling, special suspension, you know, special tires. There's also the Laguna Seca model, which is ridiculous. You know what's really cool about the Laguna Seca model in particular? And actually, I do believe it carries on through the regular boss as well. We actually have two different keys, a red key and a black key. That's right, listen to this. Why? Because people like to race those things around, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Miss Joyce? Wait, is it a race? Yes, it's a racing key. That's right. And instead of having to go back and get everything readjusted at the dealership, you stick the red key in and it actually changes the suspension. It changes all kinds of things within the vehicle and actually makes it more track ready. And then instead of having to manually adjust anything, you just put the black key back in and it turns it back into the regular handling for street ready. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. I love that. I no, man, I'm serious. That's crazy town. It's much better than a ballet key. I know, right? Yes. yes. A racing key. A oh, racing key. I, I like that. One of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Miss Joyce. That is a sweet car. It is a sweet car. I love that vehicle. How about one more of these? Oh, yeah. We're very excited about that. Now you mentioned 444 horsepower. How about 0 to 60? Zero to 60, you know what? I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you that. It's so fast, it's ridiculous. But you know what? I'm sure that you can talk to one of our Ford broad, our product specialists on the floor, and they'll, they'll let you know about that, okay? Yeah, it does, and it depends on the model, too. The Laguna Seca or the regular, and guess what? We also have a boss, that we have one that's actually race ready, and it's not street legal. It's actually for race teams. So we have that available too, but the, the average consumer cannot purchase that one. Well, that's Only, why you have Ford Racing. I know, right? It's actually Ford Race ready. Miss Joyce, are you on the Ford Racing team? I wish! You, I thought that would be cool. I wish I were on the Ford Racing team too. That'd be pretty cool. You'd be their mascot. I would, I'm definitely their mascot. See? Hey, Miss Joyce, yes. can I tell you something? See? Did you know, because we're at the auto show this week, did you know that it's National Child Passenger Safety Week? I know, it's pretty cool. And I wanted to tell you that because we got some very exciting stuff going on here at Ford. Not only are we just so innovative in the technology field, and of course, gas mileage, power, all of those kinds of things, but we actually won eight top safety picks from the IIHS. Yes, eight of the top safety picks. I, yeah, IIHS stands for Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. So no other brand has more than Ford in that department. Yeah, so we're, we're actually very focused on safety. And because it's National Child Passenger Safety Week, did you know that the new Explorer is the first vehicle on the market to have rear inflatable seatbelts? And that's, that keeps our little ones, yes. Good. That keeps our little ones very safe. So in case of an impact, right across the chest, all those chest injuries that sometimes the little ones experience, we now have available rear seat inflatable seat belts. I know, I like that that's one. Awesome. All right. Yeah, the other part I'm curious about, I know, they probably want to talk to you too, but I have a couple more questions. That's all right, Miss Joyce. Hey guys, it's what's up? The 2000, who is it, the 2012, oh, the Ford Taurus. The 2013? 13, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. 
Well, I'm very excited about that one because you know we've actually changed all, we've made a lot of great features to the styling on the inside and the outside of the vehicle. But one of the things that we're most excited about. Do you know, Miss Joyce, that we are changing a lot of our vehicles to, of course, become more fuel efficient. That's a big deal in the market these days. But when things get more fuel efficient, sometimes they lose power. And who wants that, right? So our original Taurus, we had also, I mean, when we released it again, we had the 3.5 liter EcoBoost available. Do you know what that is? Yep. Yeah, the EcoBoost engine guys out there is a twin turbocharged direct injection engine. What that does is it gives you 365 horsepower on a V6, which is unheard of. But we are releasing on the new 2013, the new 2.0 liter EcoBoost. And that's gonna be an inline four cylinder with 237 horsepower on a four cylinder vehicle. That's gonna get best in class mileage, fuel mileage with 32 miles per gallon. So we're very excited about that. Best in class, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right. Miss okay. Joyce, you are awesome. And I also have one other thing, which yes. is they just did the 2011 Motorist Choice Awards. Motorist Choice Awards, six. You won six. Yes. I'm looking at, on some of these vehicles, you have Ford Expedition, yes. in various models, has three of the awards, Cargo Hauler, yep. People Mover, mm -hmm. and Road Trip. That's right, Road Trip. Everybody should get out there and take a road trip in the new Expedition. I like saying it like that. Do you like it? I do. I know, it's, it's kind of stealthy, isn't it? Flies under the radar. We're doing all these new releases and everything, and here comes the expedition, tried and true, just as good as ever, right? It's actually because, you know, Miss Joyce, we've, we've spent a lot of time in the last couple of years just overhauling pretty much every class that we have. So all the way from compact to subcompact to midsize sedan, our trucks, you know, our expedition, our SUVs, we've taken time to make every single vehicle in our lineup stand out and give each one special features so that basically, you know, we can be across the boards a great car company and have everything that someone could want in any one of our segments. Thank you, Miss Joyce. Hey, I always love talking to you. I love talking to you too, Miss Joyce. Thank you for coming out. And hey, where's the best place for people to catch up with Ford on the internet? I'm sorry? Which best place for people to find you on the internet? Oh, well, of course, it's Ford.com, right? Oh, yeah, go to Ford. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, Miss Joyce.